Man, so leading up to that trade, I, I, I can't. It's it's been a few years, but uh, did you had you asked or was it just kind of like, hey, it's just about time, maybe uh, I should move on? Listen, like me and AB didn't. We had a really complicated relationship, right? Yeah. Like I felt like I had a good year. That COVID year when we got stopped, we were buzzing. Oh boy! And we yeah. were. I finished. I had a good playoffs, which he told me as well. And then basically after that, that he told me I'm not a spring chicken anymore. And then because of my all success is because of Coots, right? That's basically what he said. Yeah. I was like, fuck you. Like yeah. in my head, right? Like I didn't yeah. tell him that. I was like, that's, that's weird. Yeah. So we had a tough year after that, right? Right. That COVID year, you couldn't go anywhere. You were locked in your house. I lost about 20 pounds. That year. Oh, yeah. Okay. I was here by myself. Uh, yeah. My family was back home because uh, Marqueta was having a baby. We were having a baby. She was born in February, and they couldn't come over here because of COVID, so I didn't see them until May. So I was kind of homesick yeah, and right. everything. Mm -hmm. I was losing weight. It was just an annoying year all over. You know, you weren't winning. And and still, under those circumstances, I look at it like that. I was I was still leading the team in points. Right. So, fuck, I'm doing something right. Like, right. don't tell me. Like, and you know, it's not always fucking my fault. <laughs> yeah, Come on. Exactly. Like, fucking. Yeah, right. No, for right? sure. So, by March, I think I had to sit down with, uh, with Chuck. And uh, I was like, listen, I don't think this is going anywhere, to be honest. I think, you know, it's time to move on. For, for your side, for my side. Yeah. It just, like, AV signed for five years, you know. Like yeah. This. And the nail in the coffin. So I kind of knew I was on the move, so the last game was very emotional, right? We played Jersey at home. I had thoughts all over the place, you know, looking out the locker room, you know, you know it's uh, your probably last game yeah. with yeah. them. So it's hard, emotionally fucking hard. And uh, and this this guy comes in the locker room and he say, okay, it's some last game for, you know, this this team like that. So I was on a second line or third line, second line probably with someone, with Hazy and JBR or someone, I can't remember. And Ghost was at the third deep pair. And then he started me with G and Cool just for one shift. And he started Ghost with someone too. Oh. So we just look at each other. We're like, all right. You know, like wow. this is it. But like to that. like kind of throw it at you like that. Yeah. 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 So I was I was gone that whole game. I was yeah. gone. And I, I couldn't even say bye to guys after the game because I was flying right away. Yeah. Mm. So I was like, I gotta get home. I gotta see my daughter. I haven't seen her yet. And yeah. uh, even after I, I I got home. Seriously, I'm not kidding. I got home. I uh, done my haircut, whatever, I shaved my beard a little bit. Yeah. I do after every season. The people were coming up to me like worrying, like, Are you sick? Is something wrong oh, with you? Geez, That's how skinny I was. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And then even that, I like I finished. You know, I yeah. was I was up in a, in a scoring race on the team, and right. it's always there was always something. I was I was I, I think I was just an easy target for yeah for those people, and uh, you know I didn't like that very much. No, I, and I don't I blame not, you. Yeah. I, I I watched you, and obviously for a lot most of your years here, and you worked your bag off, and yeah. you're a leader in the room on the ice. You played yeah. everything. Like it just that. you know, I was a, I, th I think I was a leader, and I always yeah. wanted best for teammates. Yeah. It just I never like I was never showing off of that. You know what I mean? Right. Like there was a camera in the room. I wasn't. I just sat down because I, I don't unless need it, it was mine. I don't yeah. need it to be. I don't need it to be like recorded or you know like. Right. Yeah. Right. I have my, my privacy. It's my fucking privacy. Yeah, exactly. How I act yeah. towards the other guys. So mm -hmm. yeah, for sure. You know. You know how some guys are, but like just different type of leadership, right? Yeah, I mean, so, so you know, there's a camera in the room, and they're like, "All right, guys, yeah, let's yeah, go, yeah, let's yeah, do yeah, it, yeah, yeah. let's work hard." You know, like let's do what coach said, let's fucking do it. You know? yeah. Oh, just yeah. sit down, shut the fuck up, yeah. wait for the camera to leave, and they then talk. Right. Or yeah. coach is coming at eight thirty. You got eight eight forty five one o'clock, and yeah. you know some guys in the locker room. All right, boys, yeah. play hard, skate hard, like. Yeah. Walking in, right? And then he shows up. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect time. Those oh. are the guys that are sitting in the locker room, and then when a coach is saying something, they're like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like, <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, you know what course. I mean? Like those guys? Of course. I'm yeah. looking around, like, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, get process it, get the information, and then do it. Yeah. Usually, yeah. those guys that did this, they never fucking done it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. What are your thoughts on Flyers and their direction with Danny? Oh, absolutely, and absolutely stunt. Yeah, not stunt because it doesn't surprise me that much. Because the way I know Jonesy and I know Danny B. Yeah, yeah. you know, I just met Daniel for the other night. That's exactly mm. what they the need. combo what I you agree. were looking for. That's 100%. exactly the combo that was there when I got here mm. from Mr. Snyder to Clarkie to Homer. Right. To all the way down just just solid just you know that grid there 
and they have it in them as well. They have that Flyers passion. Yep. You know what I mean? Like, you can't just show up here and first year in your job say, oh, be a Flyer. Right. Like, again, we're talking about AV. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you don't know, fuck, you have no fucking idea what does that mean? Be a Flyer. Right. You know, like yeah. just the, just those cliches for public. So public is like, oh, he's good. Yeah, right. I fucking optics. hate those things. Yeah. yeah. Optics. That's what I was talking about mm-hmm. with the guy in the room with the camera. Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> optics. Right. Optics. Right. Yeah. No, if you have to feel it, you have to go through it. You have mm. to feel it. And uh, I'm sure that the guys are still on the team from when I play with them. Me, G, uh, JVR, yeah. Simmer. Yeah. We knew what it meant to be a flyer. We always, you know, we yeah. knew it. Yep. Just unfortunately, we couldn't find a way to win, like I said. But, uh, you know, they are on the right path with, uh, you know, hopefully they're going to be able to get that Michkov guy yeah. over here. Not sure how that's going to end up. Hopefully, you know, it's going to work out. But, uh, you know, they have a good things going. And uh, for them, it's 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 the best thing that could happen for yeah. them to, to have that kind of leadership like in the old days.